so you want to apply for research funding. Are you wondering what is the best way to receive the support you need during the proposal process? Contact your department's business office. The sooner the better. Inform them of the proposal you would like to submit and they will guide you along the process. You may ask, what can the business office do for me? The business office will connect you with a research administrator who will be your partner in developing a successful proposal. While you have the scientific expertise, research administrators have the expertise you need to navigate the University of Michigan's proposal requirements, as well as knowledge of different sponsors and proposal guidelines. Your research administrator will give you a checklist which outlines every document required for your specific proposal. And it highlights sponsor rules you must follow when preparing these documents. Templates may also be available for some of the documents required for your proposal. It's important to know the sponsor guidelines, as they can be quite particular. What are sponsor guidelines and why are they important? Each sponsor may have general guidelines for all proposals submitted to them, as well as specific requirements for your proposal. The specific requirements are usually listed in the Solicitation or Request for Proposals RFP. In the solicitation, the sponsor will detail any specific requirements, such as what fonts or margin size you can use, or even the words that must be used as your section headers. They may also detail things that should not appear in your budget or proposal. The guidelines can be very specific, so stick to the script. Sponsors may not even read your proposal if the guidelines are not followed, so while you develop your proposal, partner with your research administrator and reach out with questions or when you need clarification. What are the required documents? The exact documents required will vary by sponsor and solicitation, but some examples are a biosketch or CV with your current academic status and degree progress, a budget justification to explain how the funds you requested will be used and why they are necessary, and of course, your project description, explaining your research, your plan of work, and all of the activities and experiments to be undertaken. Depending on your proposal, your PI may be required to submit documents on your behalf as well, such as a biosketch or CV, current and pending support, or a letter. Now let's start your proposal. Begin working on your draft as soon as possible. Do you have questions about the format or what information you should include? Your research administrator can help with that. Submit your drafts as early as possible. Submitting your drafts early allows your research administrator to maximize the time and attention given to your proposal to help make it a success. This is especially important if this is your first time submitting a proposal. Don't wait until the last minute, and here's why. The final versions of your proposal documents will have a due date at the business office several days before the proposal is due to the sponsor. This earlier deadline is necessary because we need to factor in time for the review and approvals required by the university. We also need to factor in time in case the proposal is returned for changes at any point in the process. This internal review process ensures that all proposals uphold the research reputation and integrity of the University of Michigan. And all that needs to take place before your proposal is submitted to the sponsor. The process consists of approvals from the PI, the department, the college, and lastly, ORSP. ORSP? ORSP. Office of Research and Sponsored Projects. What do they do? They review your full proposal for compliance with all sponsor guidelines and officially submit your proposal on behalf of the University of Michigan. And should your proposal result in an award, ORSP will review and negotiate the award contract. It is critical that proposals reach ORSP by their deadline because those that arrive late are at risk, which means that it is too close to the sponsor deadline for ORSP to guarantee they can review and submit your proposal on time. At-risk proposals may not be submitted.
what to expect during the process? You may hear us use words and acronyms that you are unfamiliar with, and that's okay. You may hear us say that we need to complete a path for you. What's that? A path is a proposal approval form. It is an electronic form that allows us to compile your proposal documents and send them around campus for the appropriate approvals. Depending on the kind of research you do, the PATH also collects certain compliance information pertaining to your proposal. So, you may find a series of compliance questions sent your way. The proposal process may seem intimidating and cumbersome in the beginning, but with the help of your research administrator and the business office, it becomes very manageable. Your research administrator will guide you and make sure you stay on track. They have your best interest in mind. Your success is their success.